Good evening everyone, my name is Hector Doomhammer and welcome to this week's stream of Mental Omega. It has been a while. It has been a while indeed. And I am so sorry to hear it. Xenotis, welcome to the stream and so sorry to hear about what happened between you and the boy band The Throbbing Masses. Yes, I know. It was a, uh, a sad breakup, it didn't go particularly well. But well, uh, good evening, they everyone. simply, they simply did not... Uh, they sim we simply cannot, we, due to irreconcilable differences, we uh, had to unfortunately split up. So unfortunately my uh, my three week long stint with the boy band was unfortunately cut short. And now I have returned to my streaming duties. Hello everyone, good evening. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure we can get into the deta uh, details about that later into the stream. How about we start up a game? Alright, let's see what is yeah. gonna happen this time. But uh, we have some really prime positions when it comes to uh, the hotel room. Because we've got about. Uh, well, there we go. Here we are. Because uh, apparently our hotel is situated only a single kilometer away from walking distance from Gamescom. So we just park the car there, free parking. Player defeated. And, uh, nice. We that could, is we could just walk to Gamescom. That's, it's, it's really that, that close by. It's incredible. Excellent. Alright, so, I wanted to say about this map, High Explosive Round, a desert map where players start on either the left or the right side. Um, it's a six player map, as you can see. Everyone. And everyone starts out with an oil derrick close by, heading towards the center, and heading even more towards the center, you've got these uh, tech missile silos. Yes, Each player starts with one. And mine just blew up because everybody I, gets you a own it right missile off. silo. Yeah, you start out with it. You know, it, it's right. It's yours right from the start. And uh, if you quit like I had to, because I actually sold my MCV and I somehow didn't uh, die, so I actually had to quit to observe or change. Let's see who are who is playing against who. I think it's Dark Bite and uh, Zaker. Versus All Star and Hacks. Yeah, pretty much. Look at but the yes, screen. Yeah, my screen I'm, is I'm, still loading, so I can't say it. Uh, right, but if you uh, if you follow me, uh, Raziel27, and then thank you so much for the follow. Ooh, do you still have a funny sound for your follow button? Uh, actually, I feel did you did you learn your lesson sound, from that? But I, I I learned my lesson from it. For sure. <laughs> Um, who is the red player? Allow me to have a look for you. It is uh, Zaker. So we've got Zaker over here, and then uh, just massive lag spikes uh, here and there. Oh well, that is to be expected from a uh, four-player map uh, for a four-player game, which is fairly large in scale. Mm -hmm. But it looks like Zaker is definitely he's going on. Uh, He's, he's, he's going a bit aggressive, trying to take out the missile silo as soon as possible. Yep. Which is well, you want to do that. You want to do that. Uh, because, uh, you know, if you have enough power, then uh, that missile will do some serious damage. I think it's equal to the demo truck and the bomb buggy. Mm -hmm. It's definitely the same explosion, at least. Well, it's, a, it's the same explosion graph, so yeah, it could be. It's comparable. Which is, I'm, getting, I'm seeing all a bunch of very helpful... Uh, uh, tips on going to Gamescom. One of them, actually, a couple of friends who are go who, are, who will be joining us, are uh, bringing some of those little very lightweight fold-up chairs, which uh, is probably an excellent idea because the r the lines at some of the games can be very very long. Mm -hmm. I remember, for instance, that last year uh, at the uh, Command and Conquer booth that uh, some people had to wait, like, I think a little bit more, of two to three hours before they could play the game. <laughs> that is a long time to be standing. Yeah, I, pretty much. Uh, I don't think anyone is really built for that. Uh, yes. I will be going prepared as well, because I'm definitely looking forward to, uh, for instance, getting in line at the Alien Isolation booth, which seems fairly interesting. I literally have no idea what's going to happen. Well, there are quite a couple of things. I mean, it's a, I'm not even watching the, the I'm not even watching the media presentations or anything. I'm oh just, well, don't don't uh, I don't um, I barely watch those either. I just check okay which, who who will be joining there uh, at Gamescom. What kind of booths will be there? 
And if there are any games that uh, show up that I either like or so, then I'd say, yeah, that's cool. Because I know that uh, Crow Team's new puzzle game will be there, the Talos Principle, which seems fairly interesting, so I'll give that a shot. Okay. Also okay, games are cool. Oh, yes. Oh. Nice. Dog getting crushed by a tank. Nothing pop up, popped up. Hmm. Don't know why, find, uh... but it seems that a couple of missiles are ready. But some others aren't. I guess that they had a bit of power issues. Or almost ready at least. This one is uh, primed. No, I did see another one primed here in the center, I think. No, wait. This one. The south. Maybe I do need to turn so on the has sound. launched his uh, missile silo. Yeah, Hax's I see that happening. Hax's missile silo is almost ready. So with a little luck, he might be able to take out the silo before it launches. No, it's going to fire directly on the war factory here. Mm -hmm. And barely not destroy it. That was Hax's missile. I would like to add, for some viewer viewers who might be interested, you can uh, follow us which is the official Mental Meisters and Mental Omega Twitch channel, which is, of course, uh, Twitch uh, TV slash Mental Meisters. And I do oh, yeah, have my... I do have my own, yes. I do have my own Twitch channel, but uh, it's mostly used for just more private things and occasionally testing other things uh, when it comes to live streaming. So th I'm afraid there's nothing really very interesting there to, to be seen. Yeah. I actually have my own test channel as well. It's called Do Me Test, but... Mm -hmm. uh, don't follow that channel, because I hardly ever do anything on that. It's literally well, only for testing now purposes. That, now that you've said uh, that people shouldn't test it, reverse psychology will take its uh, course, and everybody will go uh, subscribe to it. I'll subscribe to it right after this stream, in fact. If you tell, well, if you tell the internet to not do something, that is exactly what they are going to do. Seems like we've got a little skirmish here up in the northeast and mm -hmm. uh, northwest here. Yes, yeah, Zeker's taking out a couple of uh, uh, tech structures here, stealing them away from hacks, trying to get rid of this as much as possible. Also capturing another one of the uh, tech missile silos. I'm not exactly sure if that actually offers some kind of boon or anything. Um, doubt it actually. I don't. I'm not uh, actually it sure. Be, I don't think it would be actually, cool if you got if you got I don't think uh, it offers, two missiles. Yeah, no, I don't think so. I think it doesn't offer any other extras or such. It's basically just if one gets destroyed, then the countdown won't stop. It just keeps going. Mm -hmm. Yes, Mike Kill Kill, I can in fact, in I can actually read the chat. I've been overseeing it the entire time. I just enjoy to uh, watch it from afar. Just can't reply to it all the time. Yes, surprising Jesse, Xenothist is back, and it seems that my game has crashed. Oh, that is bad. Well then, I'm sure that yeah. He, come on, let's get. Come on, let's make this a democratic decision to get rid of him. There we go. Freedom. I don't know, I need to, freedom reigns. I, I, I'll need to look into that. <laughs> Wonderful. So, I, I guess the George is going to continue on uh, with a with a match. Yes, I think we'll just continue on with the match. Would be a bit of a shame, yeah. uh, since uh, now everything is getting a bit interesting. Norio here to the south next to uh, Zaker. Taking oh, actually, out some of his uh, dream weavers. Be... I think it is working, although... Yeah. I'll start here on the north. Know. Coming up with a small force here. Probably to give Darkbite a bit of a run of his, for his money. Well, let's see what he does. He doesn't have a lot of defenses here to the side. Might be enough to stop a couple of forces, but especially with Norio going around, it might be enough to stop them. That's lovely. Ooh, that's not all we got here. Also, it's got another one of his. It's got a Basil Scout, which is always good, always fun. Anyway, despite the fact that I have been. Uh, 
out of the game for a while. I uh, did manage to do a little bit of checking in as to what the progress is on uh, further development of the mod. And uh, right now what's going on, we're uh, currently reprioritizing a couple of things due to the fact that we're still waiting on uh, further development of uh, CNC Net 5, which will allow us to uh, further uh, update the mod to Beta Revision 2. And in the meantime, we haven't. There hasn't been. Uh, we've been doing a lot of development for further updates. Other than that, we're still looking for mission scripters. So, folks, if you're uh, adept with uh, with final with final alert two, give us a call. Or more preferably, shoot us an email. You can find our email, yeah. of course, on our website. Or you can uh, click the link in my chat at exactly. least uh, that Doomy bot just posted. Thanks to a command that I have. Yes. But yes, yeah, so there is there is work is still being done on the mod. There is still uh, further development. Speeder has been working very hard to uh, on a very big surprise that we've got coming for the uh, not distant future, which will be coming to Mental Omega in the future. Yes, somewhere when it's ready. Unfortunately, I'm uh, I'm sorry I can't give any uh, solid deadlines left. I've learned my lesson from the last time I said that Beta Revision 2 was almost done. Mm -hmm. Well, if I may be so bold to say is that, you know, you and I have our experiences with Speeder and how he continuously just changes his mind with uh, what he wants to do. And this honestly doesn't surprise me. I mean, I, I, I was hoping oh. that with uh, CNC Net 5 Pretty being currently so in, in development, uh, in the state that it is, that you know we would be done relatively soon. That we could say with, with a certain certainty, like uh, yeah, in, a, in a like most the certain certainty, uh, yes. no, yeah, most certain certainty. Because normal certainty isn't certain enough. Um, True. True. Looks like Zager but, dropped out for a second, but looks like uh, he's back in. Okay. But um, now we 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 could be saying like yeah, perhaps in uh, in November or December that you know Beta Revision Two will be uh, live. But unfortunately, with with you know, speeder being speeder, there's really no saying. Uh, yeah, if you want to, uh, if you want to uh, go to the, uh, if you want to watch the the match, then uh, go. Yes, to, we uh, are just kicking Zaker out, so we only have about three players left. So it's actually going surprisingly fast. With how many people are? Uh, oh, now he's popping back in, and not anymore. We are down to zero seconds. So who's dropping out? It's Zaker. And of course, with Dark Bite having had to flee into a corner with barely any defenses, I think that this match has already been decided. So if you'll uh, just have a little bit more patience, we will get a new game started ASAP. <laughs> there we go. That's the end. That's the end. Excellent. Then I'll right away get into a new game. But yes, there has been a bit of a feature creep here, of course, due to the fact that we have had. Uh... Yeah, it's still shite net code. Pray for CNC Net 5. There we go. Hey, that's more like it. Okay, so I would it say... is going to be this position versus that position. Ben no. CC playing I, as uh... Psycorp, and we've got uh, ET37 playing as the European Alliance. <laughs> Alright. Well, it's up. Let's get started. Well, there is working on uh, CNC net, getting CNC Net 5 implemented into the uh, Better Vision 2 launcher, isn't he? There is. Yes, among other things. So there's quite a lot of work, but there's still quite a lot of work to get done there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it so yes, ready for duty. We're, we're all we're all here on the back bench at the moment. Really, just uh, we've been working on a couple of other on some excellent large scale things in the for the future of Mental Omega. But uh, for the direct uh, results right now with CNC Net, we're kind of on the back bench when it comes to that. So we don't have a lot of influence on that. I, I'm, if we did, trust me, we would be cracking those whips in no time. Mm -hmm. But uh, unfortunately, it's it's a lot of work that's either through donations or through someone else's free time. So of course, we can't really delegate any of that. Any of that. We don't we don't have any influence on that. So unfortunately, all we can do is be very very patient and uh, hope that. Uh, It'll come out reasonably soon, so that we can all get better revision too to all you guys. 
Because in the meantime, we've been uh, doing some other uh, development bits. Let's just say there were a couple of rumors going around of uh, certain uh, voice acting possibly being being needed in the distant future. Yes, Maybe. and uh, I've got I've I've gotten some uh, scripting work and uh, things as uh, and things like that uh, for me for myself as well. So uh, there are th there are still things going on in the uh, on the yeah the, there's there's a lot of th things going on in the background mm -hmm. for right now. And uh, are you gonna continue you, your work ever on uh, that thing you were doing? Where you're gonna make like a profile sketch of uh, the individual heroes? Because you haven't done that in oh, ages. Oh, that yet? Yes, I haven't touched that in quite a while. I've been very busy with a lot of other things, of course. Uh, yes, but I will definitely come back to that. Right now, it's not very high on the priority list because we've uh, got a couple other things. I mean, we're still busy with that thing uh, with the map editor that RP is uh, currently heading, mm -hmm. which is uh, slowly uh, and but steadily making progress. We're going to be doing a uh, short Skype conversation with uh, everyone involved uh, next week. Cool. But uh, yeah, so there's uh, there's actually quite a lot of things going on. Speedo's also given me a couple of uh, tasked me a couple of things to uh, write down. Nice. Can't uh, go into detail about that just yet. Don't but, think it's uh, necessary to it's, do it's, that. It's 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 pretty yes. it's pretty big. It's pretty big. Let's look, let's keep it at that. But it's only f it's for the distant future. So for now at least. So I think it's more important right now. It's just that we try and see what we can do before Beta Revision Two hits uh, everybody else. Yeah. And see that we can f further fine tune it, and see uh, if we if we can get it just as as good as possible before it releases before CNC Nate Five is finished. Mm -hmm. and it seems that uh, Mr. Ben C C has uh, gotten into low power, but with uh, another power plant up, he's got back up to power again. Even sending and, uh, a brute inside of the. Uh... Okay, that's a bit of a waste of money there. Sending a brute inside of your uh, bioreactor. Eh, it's not a bad idea. I mean, if the bioreactor is attacked, and destroyed, then you've suddenly got oh, free brutes. True, true. Destroy but the attackers. Quite you know, beefy. Your, uh, idea. Power to money ratio is uh, mm, more not on the expensive effect. side. No, but it's it is. It's more on the, the expensive side. Yeah. And that's what it, what it's all about. All right, I'm seeing a couple of uh, Cavalier tanks. Uh, a repair I, uh, AMC and a robot tank coming in from ET thirty seven. He's uh, heading to the yeah. northeastern part of the base here. Probably going to make mm. a little uh, attack from behind, possibly. In comes the brutes and the archers and some attack dogs. There we go. Some archers in the back as well as you can see. Dune Rider even. No, that's an attack dog. And that takes care of that little attack. Yeah, as you can see, Brutes can make pretty short work of that. Uh -huh. Both players at tier 3, as you can see. And unfortunately, not really a possibility to go naval. And I see a uh, Libra! Do we, will you be streaming Petrol War when Bad Revision 2 comes out? Is that a uh, rhetorical question? Uh, yeah, that is a rhetorical question because uh, I think of what uh, you and I agreed upon, Zenithus, is that with yes, of course, we would definitely do yeah, more game efficient. modes. Yeah, what, what game different game modes are fun. I like that. Kind of break up the monotony of uh, regular see. awesome battles, uh -huh. as excellent as they are. Yeah. So I see a Mirage tank and I see Siegfried out already. Uh, got four Harriers here as well. That looks like a Navy SEAL. That is a Navy SEAL. So you mm -hmm. can see Siegfried moving slowly down, slowly down. Excellent, yeah. Uh -huh. I wonder, could Libra actually uh, use her deploy uh, function to flip Siegfried around? Because I know that uh, Magnus, right. uh, I know that, around as in. you know, as she, as she flips tanks around. Oh, right. You mean as in we could... Uh... I'm not sure, perhaps. Well, Libra's dead, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. One shot it. Darn. My wife. <laughs> oh, goodness. But yeah, that's something I'm interested in. I mean, uh, Magnetrolls will uh, affect uh, uh, Siegfried. I know that uh, 
Stalkers they already do. do. Yeah, I, I know they do, but you know, it, it, it is that Siegfried is. Uh, Siegfried on, is on a the... fairly powerful infantry, but he's also invulnerable to a lot of influences. I mean, infantry things affect him, mechanical things affect him. He's pretty much kind of. Uh, falls under the rules of a cyborg, basically. Mm -hmm. Like, for instance, cyborg prototype and uh, things like that. Basically, I think EMP. EMP I think he's also him. affected by. Yep. Yeah. yeah. EMP affects him, I know that uh, Stalkers will affect him, I know that the Magnetron's beam will affect uh, affects him. Yeah. Uh, he can of course be Chrono shifted, but he can't be Iron Curtains, he can't uh, survive the Rage Inductor. So, so it's, yeah. it's really... It's kind of a, mis it's a mixed bag. Uh -huh. I think it's the armor type. If, uh, oh. oh yes, yeah. No. I believe he has a custom armor type, so... Okay, well, all the archers are dead now. Siegfried's still alive. And uh, actually, I've been playing a little bit of Beta Efficient 2 uh, recently. After this? Oh. And I'm glad to see that uh, Siegfried is being able to uh, be promoted. Because, of course, Beta Efficient 1, uh, for some odd reason, he can't. Oh no, that's due to the fact that that's uh, it's a bit complicated how that works. Is because um, his actual uh, the, because there are two different he doesn't he doesn't properly get the experience from whatever is killed by the uh, by his chrono weapon because it does damage over time. Uh -huh. And usually, if it's the initial hit that kills him, then he gets the XP. But anything after that, he doesn't get. That's the game doesn't calculate that properly. Ooh. Ooh. That was painful. That Nasty was painful. hit from the entries, probably back up a bit. Yeah, but it was uh, the Dreamweavers actually chaos the uh, prison tank, and the prison tank would mm -hmm. fire on uh, Siegfried, and, and then Siegfried also got hit by the uh, Antares battery. Yeah. Nice combination here, though, using the uh, Caron tanks, uh, Mirage tanks, and even uh, a couple of Navy SEALs. But here comes the greatest threat of all air units. Invaders. Ooh. Ah, that's something we don't see a lot of. Yeah, luckily that might that might uh, stave off a little bit of that. Ooh, nasty. Yeah, but not good enough. But there comes the first yeah, Thor. It's and good the for it's a good Thor. for last minute save, but unfortunately, it's uh, you do need some anti-air units if you want to keep them alive. Yeah, luckily we've got some Thors on the way. We've got more. Uh, here comes here comes the Thor. More prison tanks and more uh, Navy SEALs as well. Oh, got some mind control going on, but uh, Carol's the quick Carol. Instantly match. erased. Nice. Very nice. Alright. Thor spearheading this attack here. Uh huh. Is doing Currently being nasty. Uh, Ooh, two shots the Ooh, Karama. One prison tank uh, lost. Prison tank. Let's just nah, that's not, come that's to not a be Thor it. spam. Let's I want to retor retreat with that single Thor. I, I don't ho I don't hope it uh, becomes a Thor spam here, but uh, currently all I, that I can see are uh, be Thors being made at the moment, so... Ooh, Kinda that's weird. a nice question. That's a nice question for you, Q&A. How did you learn to speak better English than half of all Americans? Uh, it comes naturally, I guess. I honestly oh, don't oh. have an answer. I honestly you don't cheeky have bastard. Now, I, I've been watching a lot of uh, uh, well English and uh, American uh, TV, so you, know, you, you adapt as a young kid. Alright. I was always one of the uh, best in English in, in class. Oh, what a surprise, so, so was I. <laughs> <laughs> Well, but then again, you're a half American. That is, oh, we that got is some, a we joke. We got some Navy shields I... going in the south over Ooh, here. Right in the, right in the, see, this is where these brutes would have come in handy. Yeah, but uh, strength, but it looks like uh, no need for them there. No. Ouch. The, Though uh, they do take out quite a bit of the uh, Rogan towers were enough. Here. Such Rogan shame. towers were enough to take care of everything. All right. Siegfried is still harassing the front lines over here. Uh, yeah, a couple of water tanks coming around to try and uh, beat some sense into his ass. All right, so uh, just a quick tally here. We seem to have a total of 17 fortress maps coming up in Beta Revision 2, and uh, the 18th one is being added right now. 
Nice. I, I've been playing a, a bit of Fortress and Blade Elevation too. It's really fun. It's a very fun game mode, yeah. I've been enjoying it myself as well. So, uh, all the more important to get Better Revision 2 out uh, to the public, I'd say. Uh-huh. Oh, got a couple of Harriers going Can't here. let us haggle. Can't let us hug all, hog all the fun. Now, I'm not surprised that we still uh, don't have permission to do another Better Revision 2 stream. But then again, I guess that with all the uh, major new uh, features getting well, added... It hasn't that as far as I've heard, it hasn't changed a huge amount uh, oh. since the last time that uh, I've been on. So right now, because right now there has it's mostly just waiting on, uh, as I've as I've said before, it's been, it's mostly just waiting on the other on the other uh, services to get ready for that. It's uh, mostly just uh, back in functionality. Yeah. So it seems that uh, Mr. Ben uh, CC has made a little expansion uh, in your starting position, Zenithist. Get a mm. bit of the uh, economical boost hill for here. Yes, I see. Very clever. It's always a good idea to expand, especially in one of these uh, larger maps. And people are a bit further away. Then uh, it's always a good idea to expand to get a little bit more of that ore. Yep, see that uh, Libra's back. Uh, strangely, no uh, psychic... Uh, or a psych plug over here. Got a single brute trying to get to the uh, Carol tanks, but the Thors quickly took care of that. Some brutes going down over here. Don't think they're going to be doing that much, though. Oh. Yeah, damn. Oh, Ooh, almost got got that uh, prison tank. Though. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what's up with, like uh, mobilizing. with uh, the stream on my end, but it's it's like really really laggy. Hmm. Yes. How about, well, next week I am reasonably free, so I'm going to be doing a bit of work for the mod. Um, I was actually thinking of perhaps this week uh, checking out, uh, or next week after we get back from Gamescom, that uh, I check out uh, Hitbox, see if that's any good. Um, I so some people want to join us just to see if everything works. Maybe I'll even do a bit of uh, gaming on Beta Revision 2, perhaps even. If it, I would only kind of suggest depends, doing kind of that if you see, get the can't, uh, make no, can't make no promises, but uh, I would suggest only doing better efficient two streams if we have permission to do that. Yeah, I, well, I, you know, people have been asking me on my chat like, "Oh, when are you going to do better efficient two again?" And I'm just saying like, I'm not doing stuff yeah, until I have permission over. to do it. True, true. Because well, there's one mod that I could potentially stream that I have been wanting to stream ever since September last year, and I just don't have the permission to do that yet, and thus I have uh, True. It's that simple. That's very true. So it seems that well, we'll uh, that. BT anyway. just keeps on uh, hammering on the defense so over here. Uh, I don't know if he even knows about the uh, base there in the top uh, top right. Well, currently I it seems that it. Ben yeah. CC is... Or at least uh, if, he, if he knows... If he knows about it, then he's not doing anything about it. Instead, no, of trying to focus now he's, on uh, he's uh, actually trying to here. some infantry up here. So that that may cause a little problem for uh, for ET over here, especially once that's, this bunker is gone. You know, he pretty much has free range. That you could even uh, go. Siegfried is a nasty harasser. Damn. Absolutely. I, but honestly, I hate Norio uh, more when it comes to uh, harassing, especially if I'm the, on the receiving side of him. Oh well, who doesn't? <laughs> uh, to answer a question by Instigator25, uh, mm, the Fog of War is something that is being worked on, I believe, in Ares. Um, but it's an Im immensely complex thing, and it's not something that's very easily done in this game. So there is work for, uh, being done about that, but uh, we don't have any plans at the moment to include it in mod. Uh -huh. All right. Now that but other mods might have that option enabled later one day. No, I'm seeing a basilisk uh, sneak all the way down here to the southwest. Ooh, Seems sneaky! That, uh, that uh, ET is bringing out the big guns. I'm seeing a couple yeah, see of. Yeah, uh, seeing if he can get a bit of a. Uh, oh, but he might have just given away his position, since he just killed one of. Uh, one of the dogs there. So a lone four uh, gunship is coming out to take care of it. Shame. Could have worked well. Yeah, I could have 
could have worked, could have worked. I mean, there is some Darn. minor defense, but not all that much. Oh, it seems that uh, one Thor gunship got the uh, Basilisk all the way here in the southeast, but uh, another one is uh, actually making a little shortcut. Yeah, tanking all that damage here, damn. Siegfried here, taking all those sh uh, shots by those uh, Antares. Uh -huh. Trying to see if he can get in some damage to the cloning vats there. Risen Rogo, there we go. Ooh. Nope, Siegfried is out of range. And the Basilisk has reached the base over here. The snuck by everything, but that Thor gunship is just popped oh, out. Oh, right. Just in the middle. Well, unfortunately, it's only one, so not a lot he can. Not a lot of damage he can do with that. But with a nope. little luck, especially with a Thor gunship, he might be able. In. He might be able to get rid of the radar, which no, of he course won't. he won't. No, he's you not don't think so. At no. it. The Basilisk Ooh, was that firing is a at the airfield, that is a not shame. the uh, not the airfield itself. Darn. Right, so now it's all about breaking this turtle here. Yep. Got the turtle of the uh, Psycor versus the turtle of the uh, East uh, European Alliance. There are still some forces up here, but so far nothing has happened. Barracuda's being sent away. Norio, or uh, sorry, Sigfrid just got killed again. Rest in peace. Yep, rip in pepperoni. That is a weird. I don't even think that makes sense in a uh, acronym Rip. sense sort of way. Rip and pepperoni. Rip and pepperoni. Um, that is utter gibberish. No, it isn't actually because you're. Uh, if you die, uh, your meat could be ground up into pepperoni. All oh, right. And then you're basically resting in pepper in peace. In well, the, in okay, the okay then, Charlton pepperoni. Heston. Then, uh, if you say so. <laughs> right, there's an explanation for pretty much everything. You just have to be crazy enough to think about them, right? All right. True, true, true. Oh, we got a uh, chronosphere right. on the field, it seems. Thank you all, sir, for uh, all mentioning right. that. Let's well, see. I just want to see it right here. Good. Just Might actually go. be able to get in the inside of the base, because it's actually a fairly small base, and it's a lot of defense on one side. So if he split up his forces and went around the other side, which is basically almost undefended. Yeah. Say for this entire uh, uh, group of forces here, and in and Antares, and a couple of other small things. Uh -huh. Yeah, you could do pretty well with that. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that uh, Mr. Ben C is uh, effective against single targets. It seems that Mr. Ben C is trying to uh, beef up the defenses on his opposite side as well. But uh, what the? What yeah, because it looks like uh, from the uh, top of the map, there's uh, something. There are some things going on. Yeah, I see the infantry moving out indeed. Uh, got uh, some attack dogs killing the uh, Dune Riders over here. But yeah, we got Dune Riders, Archers, and uh, Brutes coming in from the north. That's probably good. Seeing if they can uh, do a sneak attack, because of course, uh, oh. Green Space here is, has absolutely no defenses save for his aircraft and his store. So basically, he could very easily make a very quick and surgical strike upon that. So here we, here we go, coming in, taking out, tr attacking the miners first. Maybe not the best idea. No. Probably a good idea to see if they first get in. rid of one of them. But look, here he goes. Thor coming in. Bam, that's one miner down. But here comes Libra's the come Thor. As well. Oh, but Libra is here as well. Oh. Ooh, this, cha this could change quite a couple things. Well, that's the Thor over there. Glad you could join us. Looks like Green has realized that there is trouble here, so uh, probably time to uh, build some units there, mm -hmm. if you've got them. Easily taking out one of the other, ooh, Risen Railgun coming out. Destroying one of the war factories just as a, gu as a Thor gunship pops out. Yep, can Libra kill yeah, it? This might be, this might be difficult. Nope, Libra died. Ooh, damn! Risen Railgun still. Oh, nice. Some damage done over here. Thor's moving back. Probably in store for the, go for the radar, man. Don't, uh. I don't, I don't, don't think he knows what he wants out. to do here. Yeah, I think he was, uh. He didn't know exactly what he wanted to do with those brutes, so he's kind of 
juggling them around a bit. Yep. But uh, and with that's, that that's kind of shame. Uh, if, if he had been a bit more, if he had been a bit more decisive and gone for the radar, he could have done. He, he could have made it very practical, impractical, but uh, probably a good idea. This conyard isn't even walled in, so basically no, he's just walking with engineers. Yeah, neither conyard is, is walled in. Yeah. All three of them aren't walled in. Oh, because both of, course, of them. We got a, a, a conyard in the northeast, of course, as well. And that's no one's walled, walled in their conyard. That's nope. interesting. Uh, it seems it's that, not a requirement, uh, but it's a bit uh, no. The live, live here in the Benzisi's uh, base isn't walled in either. So yeah, I guess they just didn't bother. Nope. Uh, lab over here isn't walled in. The uh, chronosphere isn't walled in. Nothing is walled in at all. You can never have enough kappa in your life, kappa. Mm -hmm. Looks like I'm gonna have to make a uh, a little addendum there. That uh, apparently I uh, am all bullshit and yell. But uh, fog of war of war currently is not being worked on for Ares, and pff, most likely never will. Okay. Like, nice. Apparently, they scrapped that idea. Yep. So I know a lot of people have been asking about that, mm -hmm. but uh, it was a feature that was. Widely, I don't think it's. Uh, I, it's. It's not going to happen. It was requested by uh, a whole bunch. Of it people. was requested. I know that, but I guess it was requested. Just... But I think uh, it's been scrapped for uh, other logics. Yeah. Because really, it, it, it really isn't fog of war. It's just the reshrouding the map, I guess. Oh right. Because fog of yeah, war is. I thought it was always that the lack of fog of war was always something that made the Command and Conquer games rather unique, actually. True. Uh, In a different way. Yeah. Well, all the Thors are going down, but that not before doing some damage, of course. Mm. From yeah. This is uh, this uh, is not boding well for uh, for Green. Doesn't have a lot of defenses, so. No, ET thirty seven. Uh, you definitely need to step your game up, though. Another yeah. group of infantry coming in from the east over here. More brutes and more uh, archers. Let's see where. No, they're going for the economy right away. Nice, nice, nice. Yes. Well. Generals, I think, is pretty much a new generation of uh, Command and Conquer games. It's it's kind of a different thing. Yeah, I'd say it's, it's, the a thing. It's, it's a difference between the classics, I'd say, and the slightly newer generation. Yeah, it it also had a new engine that it uh, worked on. So. And of course, it had a new engine, of course. Uh -huh. I mean, different designs and hey. Now, I think that uh, ET-37 understands what's going on, how he gets, keeps getting attacked, and thus has moved his Thors over to the north over here. But of course, uh, Ben CC could still make use of the cliff over here, the elevated area, and just make another sneak attack with his infantry wolf right there. Going back down here, though, uh, it seems that uh, Siegfried is still harassing the base over here. Uh, as He's getting uh, harassed by the Antares and uh, numerous basilisks. Single basilisk coming on over here, mm -hmm. just strolling in. Nobody cares. Yeah. Now go for the uh, oil, Derek. Well, apparently that basilisk was just passing through, going straight over Green's base without a care in the world. Oh yes, you're right. I see that. And there's just another... waltzed right in. Yeah, but did uh, not give a shit. Thor down here going after this basilisk and just got deal shot. with it. Yes, I think a lightning storm is a pretty good idea. It'll have to motivate Blue to get into action, yeah, or otherwise, uh, possibly breaking his turtle. But I think that uh, that it might motivate him to just kill uh, Green outright. So uh, go for it, good man. Chronosphere activated. Oops. We got prison tanks in the that's... northern base. Oh, there we go. Right at the top, taking out the con yard. Oh, God. The one fell swoop, damn. Trying to go for some of the infantry. Clever. Nobody reacting here at the moment. Nope. Looks like if they're very quick, they might be able to take them all out in one go. Uh huh. And possibly take out the barracks. Which is probably an even better idea. 
Ooh, the, uh, nobody has noticed it. Barracks has been what destroyed. is going on? Barracks has been Still destroyed. If you can take out the Ooh, Ooh, and one of the refineries. What is going on? Why isn't he reacting? Because he's being distracted uh, down south. What is going on there? Because I'm not seeing anything uh, really active here. But it looks Where's like it's too late for. Yeah. Yeah, there's. Oh, oh there we go. Some reaction here going we go. We see some reaction here. But uh, will it be enough? Will the archers be able to take uh, to get rid of them? Nope. Ooh, uh, that is that is painful. Now his base here is wide open. Yeah, so it's, that's it's gonna be very. Gone. That's gonna it be very good. short work. It's as good as gone there. If but, he reacts, and on especially time. since oh, Benz, uh, CC is out of money. a very large here. force here out pouring out from blue base. Whoa, he's been busy. Yeah, he's out of money. Oh, he's out of money. Yeah, that's bad. That's a bad sign. Pretty much used up all the money in the uh, south nearest base position, and since there are basically yeah. no units uh, in in the north, uh, yeah, he, yeah, he's, yeah, he's going for like it. He's, 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 going he's going to make. It. He's going for it. He could. He could make it if he has enough anti-air to combat the force, and he groups up well enough. He might be able to make it. Yeah, well, the can handle platforms. Ooh, that's gonna win some. You might be able to destroy him fast enough to get rid of him. Uh, there are a lot of Gatling tanks, though. Oh. Uh, really, not much oh. in in terms of uh, actual we go. penetration power. I think actual damage dealing. The present tanks are in the north aren't doing anything anymore because that base is pretty much no longer a threat. And I halfway expect to see a GG being called by Ben, ten, uh, ben CC over here as soon as the remainder of the force is moving from Ben's base to uh, ET-37 here has been destroyed. Because I think... Mm. No, he's, he's trying something uh, coming in towards the northeast, doing something. Person tank should just finish off the base over here. That the one refinery keeps on uh, collecting uh, ore and gems. But now it seems that uh, ET is moving in on his opponents. Yeah, it's about time. Miners now they don't do have any defensive actually. units. I see two miners. Now he doesn't have fighting. a lot of defensive units left. Now it's just a question. It's a simple question of cracking the shell. Yeah. Hello, the Lost Saber. Glad you could make it, man. Really appreciate you being here. Prison tanks still not doing anything here up in the north. Surprisingly. Chronosphere yeah, he's got more again. important things to deal with. He's got more important things to deal with than a measly uh, refinery. Chronosphere activated again. Where does it show? It shows the war factory over here. Ooh. For some odd reason. Perhaps. Oh, I think he killed off a couple of uh, infantry there. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. Welcome, Zafiasiv. I should probably get into the uh, habit of uh, greeting you all. It's 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 nice and polite. Yeah, agreed. Yes. I. Where have my manners been? Shame on you, Zenothist. Lol. Just kidding. Yes, I know. I've That's been a. I have been a terrible streamer. Then again, I could just all pull up the list and just go hello, and then just read up all the names. Uh -huh. But I think we're going to be there for a while because I'm thinking like 29 viewers. So I got 35. Yeah. Ooh, bigger e penis. <laughs> bigger now swag. you making me now you just making me jealous. Bigger swag. Got more followers bigger to your channel yes, either bigger, as well. Bigger stream swag. Yeah. Well done. Uh, lightning storm approaching. We're going to see the power Ooh, getting dropped out. Here uh, we go. Probably the war factory, probably the Put that in your refinery. pipe and smoke it. Yeah, go for Here the we uh, go. power in the north, the refinery power and the north, war, war factory. factory down. Refinery down, couple of bioreactors out. I think he turned off the power. Ouch. Alright, perfect timing. Go yeah. get in. Now we're gonna see this the This is the fight. moment we've been waiting for, folks. <laughs> going, straight for the, going straight for the going straight for the rain yard, doctor. taking it out. Especially with the rage and doctor Prevent on the field further, right now. Uh, Prevent further power, oh yeah. 
It's about time. Bible and the, the Conyard is gone. Yeah. I think uh, we know who's won here today. Yeah. I knew, I knew that pretty much. After a the... long, after a long, very long dry spell, we finally have the deluge of victory. Uh -huh. I pretty much knew that once uh, Ben CC's forces were gone, that uh, AT would win this. Yeah, actually, quite surprising because I was thinking that uh, that uh, yeah, I was I was thinking that uh, Blue would win, considering that he had an extra base and everything, and he would probably have a stronger economy. But apparently, the lightning storm really did uh, make the difference. Well, you, I, I think you're forgetting that uh, ET37, the green player, had uh, the majority of the oil derricks under his control. So he that got a lot of true. additional starting credits and uh, just kept on get, getting the, the credits in with the oil derricks. That's true. I think, yeah, because Blue or Ben, he uh, he, di he, di he didn't start with uh, expanding until reasonably late game. And he just and kept turtling, 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 unfortunately. It seems that playing aggressively is just simply... Uh, We'll get your results in comparison to turtling up. Yep. Half an hour match and it's GG. Most of the game seems to be lagging down to two FPS. Yeah, now it's just need it just, it just has to get all that out of the system. Yeah. Break all the buildings. Uh -huh. So what time is it? How much it's, time uh, do we have? To we, we still have forty minutes left. Okay. Yeah, just saying uh, what kind of games we could still uh, do in the 40 minutes that we have. Well, do okay, we have been that too same guy us? here asks, will there be any new units in the second revision? Yes, there will. There will be uh, balances, reworks, new skirmish maps, new game modes. Uh, the campaign will be reworked. AI will be reworked so that uh, it's uh, a little bit more forgiving for... Uh, especially on easy mode, it will be quite a bit more forgiving. And uh, but there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff coming in uh, beta revision two, which is uh, why it's taking so darn long to get it ready. Ooh. Well, I guess that uh, Ben Ten CC, Ben CC is just letting uh, his opponent destroy all the buildings here. He could have just uh, easily sold yeah, out. Just destroy all the buildings, and that's enough. No Shadow E, you're not a noob. You can definitely beat me, even if I'm not streaming. And Carpet, if I'm streaming and I'm playing at the same time. My attention is diverted into my laptop where I'm looking at the stream chat and the game, and I just value the... Yes, it is surprisingly stream. difficult to actually play a game and be entertaining. Yeah. Well, it's not difficult if it's like a one-player game where there is, uh, like, set AI, but... Uh, yes. You know, if you're playing against human players, then, then it's just impossible. Yeah, downloading porn, you should stop yes, doing that. Yes, that's what I meant, under the covers. hoo hoo, -hoo. Eh, okay, are we gonna have this again? Right, here we go. Hey! Surprisingly enough, it worked! Alright. So, what do we have? We have the Latin Confederation versus Pacific Front. Yes, a slow load it was indeed. Right, we've got the players over here and over here. There we go. Yes. Nice Looks little map. Straightforward. Uh, yeah, we've got naval capabilities. Map. Yeah, we've got na naval capabilities on this map. I know of uh, capital ships can actually reach the yard, both positions here and there. That's good. That could uh, open up some interesting tactics. Uh -huh. There are, of course, uh, in the center on the elevated area, we've got like large gen fields. So if you can actually get a second MCV up there or mm -hmm. base crawl up the cliffs, you know, you, you just have access to a lot and a lot of money. Yeah. Brazil, hopefully, we'll be seeing some of that as well. Yeah. So who, who do we have in again? We have uh, Sam Fisher and. Uh, Sam Fisher. A name I'm going to attempt to pronounce and possibly butcher in the process. Uh, Andrej. Andrej. Yep, yep, that went, ah, that went totally yeah. Andrej. wrong. Started, Andrej started, started, the... started out well, and then at the end it just went all wrong. Andrej is the brown player, isn't he? Hmm? 
He is well, the Pacific, he's the Pacific Front player. Yes. Oh, he, oh, he's uh, he's out there in the north. Then okay, I was looking at the uh, yes. the dark brown, not the Peaky player. Yes. Sorry. So yeah, you see that the other is actually the, uh, well, I can't pronounce uh, our Pacific Front's player, and you can't pronounce Kaki. So you know, every, even Steven. <laughs> yep. It's, yeah, for two versus two horror door, we uh, start out with twenty thousand credits just to uh, speed up the game a little bit. But when it's one versus one, it's really not necessary. Mm, well, considering that last match would lasted about half an hour, perhaps we. Yeah, but that, uh... that actually, I think that actually was with twenty k. Was that with twenty k? I thought that was with ten. Uh, I think it I was. I think I bumped it down to ten k. So. Uh... No, I was hosting that match. Oh, you were hosting the match. Okay. Yes. But I think the match that we started out with, where my game crashed, was indeed 10k on uh, your host. Oh, I see. On Brenji. Well, he's got a J at the end, so it's... I don't know. I'm, I'm Dutch, goddammit. Yes, Stop yes. asking me to pronounce is, other uh, that is people's a, that is a, names. That is a nice thing. Like having streamers or things like that just making an absolute fool of themselves with unpronounceable uh, handles. Yeah. So it seems that uh, at least for us uh, silly Western European folk, it seems that uh, that same person is, is actually or uh, wait, that not not the same person, right? That same person, the the player in the bottom. Mm -hmm. Yes, Sam Fisher. Sam Fisher. There we go. He's actually base crawling up on the cliff over here, as you can see. Uh, oh, okay. The, so he's going to grab the gems relatively quick. I'm uh, seeing a large group of conscripts over here as well. And in the meantime, it seems that uh, Andrej is moving to the uh, both of the ore fields over there, seeing even a robot tank. Mm -hmm. Allstar, what did you do this time? Allstar, he uh, shared a link with the uh, Google mm. Translate pronunciation of... Uh, mm. Sorry, no links allowed except by me and my moderators and my bot. Hmm. Well, I would have uh, like I generally like to know how to pronounce names properly because generally in the Netherlands here, people pronounce uh, my name quite often uh, incorrectly, along with those of my siblings. So uh, I find I find it uh, I find it always nice if I'm able to pronounce names properly. I like that. I think I'll look it up uh, once I'm done with the stream, so that okay. next time I know how to pronounce it. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't open it right now, so just have to wait for that. Yeah, Unless that's... Doom, of course, clicks on the link, and he plays it out loud so that we can all practice. No, I'm not gonna do that. I mean, no. uh, I don't have a second screen, you're unlike gonna, you. You're going to. You're going to. Uh, well, Andre is going naval. Andre is going naval. No, he knows what I like. Got two Kappa tanks on the water as well. Actually, one is uh, cruising along the coast. Mm -hmm. But the other one is taking a little hover over here. We've got uh, two dogs over there. Yes. At least I will uh, definitely take. Uh, I will. I will try my my very best to uh, to pronounce all your names correctly. I think that's yeah. the least I can do. Well, it's it's better than uh, how some people actually see my last name uh, on Twitch. They, oh, um, yes, I, but that's, I was actually that being for, mistaken for... For, uh, for English-speaking people, that is a bit confusing. Yeah, but, John, but it's, also that people, it's also that people actually misread it and, uh, on, on someone else's stream. It was being read as long jeans. <laughs> Brilliant. That's yeah. what they should call you. That's what your entire family should be called from now on. Mr. Oh. Paul Long Jeans. Long Jeans Silver. Vasily? Vasily? I, I know I'm, I'm pronouncing I think it's it wrong. Vasily, yeah. Vasily. I just. I'm just otherwise, otherwise, it's, 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 it's kind of like saying. It's like saying Vaseline, but just. Nah. Vasily. Saitan Vasily. Janer? Instead of Kaner. <laughs> and people in my chat are going crazy. I'm like, yes, my no. name is pronounced this way. This, how dare, how dare you? <laughs> you impetuous shit. That's okay. Now, mm -hmm. I, am one of the, I am one of those very special people who everyone misspells my name. My real name, then. 
It's a uh, it's well, a permanent, both it's permanent thing I've had since childhood. I'm used to it. Both players were naval, and we had a little naval combat going on. It seemed, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sam Fisher actually uh, forced Andres in a retreat. You know, if you move to like the states or so, you should probably get your name legally changed to Long Jeans. That would be hilarious. No, I'm gonna. I'm, then I'm gonna change my name legally. Everybody, to that is his name from now on. From now on, you will all call Doomy Hector Long Jeans. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, you won't. Well, Doomy, what did we just- what did I just tell you about reverse psychology and telling people on the internet to not do things? <laughs> what well, happens the then? Is, what happens well, The thing then? is, if, if I try to apply the reverse technology so that it will work into do my favor- Do call me! Yeah, but that's not exactly how it works. It doesn't matter, you always exactly. lose. If you say, do call <laughs> exactly. me Hector Long Jeans, then they will say, okay, if you insist, then they surely will. Not Careful, how it works. people. I might actually blacklist the word long jeans. Oh, um, I've, oh, I've blacklisted like a that. couple of other words. You party I've blacklisted. Pooper. Hey, respect. Rule one of the channel: respect the streamer. Oh, oh well. You and guys don't have to respect this? me. It's okay. I uh, I abhor you all equally. So you know, it's okay if you don't respect me either. I'm cool with that. But in, but in the case of uh, Hector Long Jeans, yes, you must respect him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and by the way, um, let me just say that... Uh, let's close this off properly here. Uh, the fact that I started the uh, whole sh uh, scheme with the throbbing masses and some of this joining that boy bed is all a joke. I think that that was... That was pretty much caught on. I, 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 I think actually everybody caught one on. Person that I, think a, I think a lot of person, people caught on. I mean, it would have been amazing if I was in a boy band who allegedly sexually assaulted a uh, Donald Duck uh, person in a costume. Or in a Donald Duck costume. That would have been an amazing story, but unfortunately, it's uh, it's not true. I can go keep it down, please. See, there we go. Raziel has the right idea. But yes, no. Unfortunately, I was uh, simply doing a very boring holiday with uh, with my girlfriend off to Disneyland Paris, which was rather enjoyable. You, yeah, I th pretty much figured you had a new girlfriend by now. Oh yes, yes, yes. Although you didn't officially. Well, well, what is what is officially? You know, it's not on Facebook, but uh, or it's not it's not publicly on Facebook, and you know, I think I like I prefer it that way. It's a lot less drama filled. Did I you like believe it. it's Sanu? Come on. <laughs> I'm, I'm very happy that we were... Uh, oh, it seems uh, that we even had a little uh, hijacking going on with the Battle Fortress. Nice. I don't see that every day. Horridor is a bit confused about how a boring holiday can be enjoyable. Well, I, of course, am a boring person, so boring people enjoying boring things would, of course, be enjoyable for boring people. So, yes, for me, it was very enjoyable. Or you're an really enjoyable like person, but it was just a very boring vacation. Oh, I like Disneyland. The props were gorgeous. Never, it, was, it, was, never... it was nice. It was, it was my first time I've ever been to anything Disneyland related. So, yeah, I enjoyed it. I've never been to Disneyland. Did all the uh, obligatory uh, rides, Space Mountain, Pirates of the Caribbean. It was fun. Even, uh, uh, what's it called? Indiana it's Jones? a small world. After. Yes, also the Indiana Jones, but of course, more importantly, we did the It's a Small World ride. Can't yeah. go to Disneyland if you haven't done that. So uh, here's yeah, a good I've... question by uh, Type 19. Uh, would hijacking a Battle Fortress steal the infantry inside? I don't think it that steals them because question, I saw. Actually. I actually saw the uh, once the Battle Fortress got destroyed. I saw the uh, Guardian GIs inside it I actually it would, uh... still being owned by Andre. Yes, but... they would still be owned by the player for, by whom the uh, Battle Fortress was, captu was captured. So. They, I think they would fire out of the Battle Fortress if you uh, I think, were using, I but think if you release them, fun. then they would yep. be of uh, the player you captured it from. So don't release them, folks. Bad idea. Nope. Kingdom essentially. Yeah, I, yes. thought, I think that's, that's, that's the general idea. You should go with. Sounds, I think it's the same thing as with uh, if you mind control infantry units and you put them in the bioreactor, that breaks the mind control, but yep. if the. Uh, 
uh, bioreactors destroyed or you release the people who are captured within it, they, ret they return to the original owner. And it's also the same that if you put, uh, if for instance, uh, there was an ally here for uh, Andres who was, uh, for instance, Psycorp, and he would use his uh, battle fortress here to make like a uh, four-person mastermind without uh, overloading. Yeah. And we would see uh, totally mind control being done. Then the mind-controlled vehicles and infantry will actually belong to the Psycorp. Yes, it's a it's a it's a weird logic. That's why uh, the original Re Euro's Revenge had quite a bit of uh, bugs when it came to that thing. The original uh -huh. unpatched version. Yeah, oh. The motor ambush over here. And I also happened to notice a, co a couple of moments ago that there was a uh, nuke silo, as I see uh, a couple of Bertinos and even a catastrophe being built over here. Surprisingly enough, oh, wait, there are two uh, war factories here. I am hearing probably more uh, hijackers. But I'm seeing something over here, so those are probably hijackers or just... Uh, uh, saboteurs, but I'm guessing the hijackers. So, so we've got a little base expansion going on over here as well, where uh, the tanks are stationed by uh, Andre. Andre. Oh, you don't. You you Not don't sure. want I'm to. Still, I will definitely look that up as soon as I'm finished with this. I will figure out how the hell to say it for the next time. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to if you if you capture uh, might control a uh, a Tanya IFE, you don't want to release it. You don't want to release Tanya. Yes. You actually the, the funny thing is that. you actually deny your opponent to retrain Tanya. If you might control Tanya. She's technically, she's technically still alive, yeah. So that is a very is a nasty tactic. You could of course just lock her in a uh, in some walls and then set some dogs upon her for easy fun, or just lock her up somewhere. That's fun. Uh, or just send it into, into the grinder. Captured. Yeah, little, or just send her into the grinder, yeah. The whole, got some the whole, shit, out the whole as well. Yeah, even got grinded. But the dragon means that uh, we got more basic expansion you got going on over here. Another navy yard, even a gap generator. Nice. It just embarrassed there. Oh, <laughs> just as I said it. Just as I said, another barracks here. Oops, there it is. Nice little forward base. I also thought I saw a single uh, vulture, but I, yeah, we got two vultures over here. Just as I thought. I don't know what happened here, but it seems that uh, some damage has been dealt here. I guess by the dreadnought, but maybe something else. If you look at the back of uh, Andres base. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Even the uh, yeah, over here. On here. Naval battle. Yeah, we got some yeah. stuff going on. Here. A couple of birds, you know, just Dorio as well. Uh, yeah, do Dorio takes care the of them. Why should the Titans? Latin Confederation and PF? No, I don't think it's a, it's uh, the Titans here. It's more a clash of the reasonably large-sized people. No. Yeah. Here comes the dreadnought. Yeah, bringing out the big guns. Missiles, that is. I still prefer the Akulas to the dreadnoughts, just because you know they're subs. Subs are always cooler. Yeah. Especially if they have the word "cool" in their name. Oh yeah, putting the "cool" back into Akula. Yes, I get it. Yeah. Clever. <laughs> clever, very clever. I'll keep that. Gosh darn it! What with uh, my notoriety for ob for horribly horrible puns, I would think that would be. Uh, I don't uh, understand why I didn't think of that one earlier. Yeah, I think that uh, with animal puns, uh, your humor is quite irrelevant. Oh god! Don't you fu don't you fucking start? Well, that's a nuke. Got a nuke launch. That's a nuke. Oh, um, where's it stop? Expansion. No, they Bam. Oh, War Factory right gone over here, and I think, yeah, I think that's the uh, radar gone too. Ooh, that is. Yeah, radar is gone. 
Sharks are awesome. Subs are awesome. Better fucking combine them. Yeah. Well, got some uh, money being stolen, I guess, over here. As I see a uh, horse track, uh, something went inside of this uh, refinery. I guess money was being stolen. That same guy asks, are there going to be mind-controlling boats? Well, um, there are currently no, no new naval units planned, but uh, I've been uh, kind of pushing for, like, we should kind of uh, expand naval uh, warfare here. So, who knows? I don't think it, it's... No, there's nothing on the table quite yet, but uh, who knows? Uh -huh. Who knows? It's not... I wouldn't say it's out of the option, but it, it would probably be I mean, a bit of a bitch to balance. Naval, uh... Especially with the uh, islands uh, game modes, it really forces players to go naval. Otherwise, yeah. uh, it's and just I think that it, would, it would probably be a, quite a little bit less boring if we had a bit of an extended yeah. navy. I mean, a lot of people have been requesting it, so I think yeah, for for something in the future, I don't I don't see that as a bad thing. Well, currently, a lot of the players are. Uh, just getting sick and tired of naval because you know really? they don't want to go for naval and then the opponent does go for naval especially i would definitely deal with yes, my there, opponent there's like, a, there's oh a i don't want to go for naval ground when it comes to naval it's either basic boats or absolute uh base destroying machines and uh yeah. anti-air units in between that it, it's, it's very limited to what you can do with it so That's it's, just, it's uh, very moving, uh, so... movement on the land as well we see the uh, Zephyrs going after the uh, tanks over here in the front. Yeah. Take care of that uh, Yeah, not looking like very good for Sam Fisher here. He's definitely being put under pressure. Yep. Damn. Ouch, that's one or two catastrophes nice down. Old. Yeah, but now the catastrophes are coming in. Uh, Maybe some damage dealt here. Of course, we've got the battle fortresses with uh, guardian GIs, and I think also uh, at least one Navy SEAL. Norio is still on the on the field as well with a rocketeer. Lots of repair stuff going on as well. All right. Oh, Morales. Oh yeah. And oh, nice. You can got a uh, a hailstorm with some more of those Zephyrs coming in. Even Chrono Ivans, I think. Damn. Got, oh, that's definitely a, a, yeah, a hijacker. We've got some uh, hijackers. Better move that Morales well. if I were you. Oh, Elite Morio, yeah. Nasty. Norio and the Rocketeers. A red alert, a uh, mental Omega music tribute band. <laughs> yes. That you actually fell for it, said of this. Well, I don't. I, it's it's a nice, sweet little idea. It definitely has a nice ring to it. Yeah. And I, I think that my game. No, it seems that uh, Sam Fisher. Fisher uh, well, anyway, it was pretty much it GG for the, him. Yeah, it's pretty much the end of the game for him as is. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna wait it out. Up. Let's just wait it out. It's 20 seconds anyway. We could spare yeah. that. And then uh, one more match, and I think after that we should close things off. All right. So, uh, right. Horadar, now's your chance to get ready. Get ready to click on that new, uh, that new game. Uh huh. There Bam. we go. It's out. Well, it that's over. it. It is over. Let's one more match. Now we got. There, uh, you, there is the option to stream if you would want that. Let's put it that way. Nah, I don't want. I don't want to stream. Which I mean, it's, kind, it's, kind of a, it's kind of a vacation for me as well. All right then. And I'll be then doing that's the that's business. fine. All right, so we got uh, oh ECA for or uh, ECA. Sorry, EA versus China. Oh dear. Oh, that's nice. Got two ways. Here. Uh, a couple of ways to get to your opponent. So you can either cross this uh, bottleneck over here. Or you can repair the bridge and go right through your opponents like directly, or you can go all the way around through here or repair this bridge and then that bridge. Uh huh. So yes, it's a very nice uh, compact map. 
So uh, hopefully we'll be seeing a little bit more uh, action this time. Actually, Magic Carpet, uh, Dewey will be staying at my place because it's slightly closer to Germany for him in anticipation of Gamescom. We'll be leaving uh, reasonably early in the morning on Saturday. And uh, after that, we will probably be sharing a hotel room, in fact. So uh, consider, it as, uh, consider this as his warming up session. <laughs> And Rise of the Red uh, streams are getting to me. I mean, I really enjoy them, but uh, yeah, if, I, if I'm not going to be if I'm not going to be home, I'm not going to be streaming. That's basically how I see things. And uh, since I yeah. stream Metal Omega on, on Wednesdays and uh, I stream other stuff on uh, the weekends, then that means that the weekends are the first ones to uh, not get a stream. Makes sense. So this map, uh, going for a little bit more information, each player has a machine shop and an oil derrick close by on islands, so of course you can steal those away from your enemy. So you can see. And of course, yet again, naval is available. Or at least it's it, it's a little bit limited to the fact that there are quite a couple of uh, choke points here mm -hmm. to the uh, to each card cardinal direction. But yeah, we we could probably it's it's a possibility we could see that, but I think it's more going to be based on uh, at least I'm going to do a guess for uh, more land oriented uh, combat here. But yeah, you uh, there were a couple of uh, folks from Rise of the Reds were also joining us at Gamescom. Uh, Did uh, you well, like have any specific? Uh, just one that I know of, and that is Mr. Xavier. Oh, just he's already there. Oh, he's already there. Oh, yeah, right. He's, he's yes, of be course. For the entire week there. Because he's Eat. staying at a friend at a friend's place of his. Uh, oh, also that's lives that's in, uh, great. Cologne, that's so. good. Oh, that's that's very handy. Yeah, yeah. We've only got a hotel, mm -hmm. reasonably close, but you know, it's always nice. It's always nice to stay at a friend. It's a lot cheaper. Yeah, but yeah, I live I live like in the northwestern part of uh, the Netherlands. And, yeah, so uh, driving from there all the way to Cologne is it's pretty. Doable. It's, it's it's doable, but it's just why would you do that when you could just stay here which is quite a bit closer I think it's like a good what 100 kilometers closer no definitely I, uh, 200 at least at least at least 200 kilometers closer so you know hey when you go why would you uh, it's, it's just a lot it's just a whole lot easier to do it like that and I've got the space so uh, uh -huh. why not it's fine I was actually thinking of maybe cooking up some uh, fine ass dinner for you but you said ah pizza's good man well no need to uh, <laughs> do all the extra effort yeah, why? <laughs> I mean, it's it's yeah, just exactly why. And I mean, we're gonna we're gonna be eating, we're gonna be eating. Well, well. That's every what guest I like is special. That's why. And I'm uh, it's it's, it's all right. Me. <laughs> and you know what? We can just save up all the money, and we can just go eat out very fancily at uh, one of those German restaurants. We Wait. just we could just get extra fancy kebab. Uh, I don't eat kebab. I just don't. Oh, eat. you don't eat kebab? Well. Extra fancy shawarma. Yeah. Uh, take a train. Is that actually a possibility? Is is like the train station close to uh, where the uh, hotel is? The I, train station. I don't know. Ooh, that is a good question. Um, not exactly close by. No. And you were thinking like train station, what you were like t thinking the high speed train? Yeah. Well, uh, I'm seeing uh, uh, magic. What? It who said it again? Uh, Mr. Type uh, 19 saying take a train. Yeah, I could take type a train six. to Zenith. Yeah, Type 6. Type, no, type 19. Yeah, you could, you, could, you could take the train to Cologne. Yeah, you could do that from Amsterdam, I think. You could do that. And I think, but you know, I think maybe this is, this is a bit cheaper because the train is reasonably expensive. Yeah. And hey, you can, you can drive on the uh, German Autobahn. How cool is that? Uh, I think the last boring. time we drove. Boring. No, oh, no, it's fun, man. Just uh, I hate cruising at 196 uh, kilometers an hour. That's good. You can we be there need, in like an hour. We need to talk about that. No. Oh yes, we'll do don't worry. I'll. Stream. I will discuss. We have some plans already, and we will dis And I will discuss that with you after the stream. Yeah, so we, uh, we're seeing a demo truck over here while uh, Mr. Uh, that same guy is going naval. Mm -hmm. So it seems that we've got a little. Uh, Cool planning going on over here. Two demo trucks. All right. Oh, they're gonna make the. Uh, they're gonna take the long way around. Cause there's, well, there is some defense in the uh, eastern part of the base over here. Uh, so I think that uh, that same guy might be expecting like a little sneak around. Yes. 
Although, if if uh, Horadar actually plants it perfectly, that uh, it, no, especially with the Rocketeers in the air, he's gonna know about them. Okay, okay, fine. But uh, slash legs are delicious, but uh, kebab I just don't eat. Yeah, it's uh, it's rubbish, man. Yeah. I eat it, but that's only because I'm a very poor person and. Uh, Occasionally, when uh, I go out drinking, then yeah, brilliant. It's uh, eh, it's alright. Homemade kebab is great though. Uh -huh. Magic Carpet asks, "What kind of pizzas do you guys have in Europe?" Well, surprisingly, mm, a lot of pizzas. For uh, comparable, comparable to uh, the United States, actually, I would say, as a pizza connoisseur, having lived in both Europe and the United States. Oh, we've got the uh, Devil's Ark moving in over trucks. here. Oh, that's... Serving up a hot slice of whoop-ass. Barely missed the destruction of the war factory. Ooh, that was very close. But yeah, just, you know, the regular stuff. We have not any of the cutting-edge stuff that... Uh... Oh. Yeah. I'm sorry, Kano. Apparently, apparently I uh, thought I uh, I thought that Kano had joined us, but apparently not. Then I apologize, Kader. That is that uh, is that is that is terrible of me. I am sorry. Then I apologize to Kader because I wasn't paying attention. Well, it's not your it's not your fault. I mean, I'm the one who said that he'd already played. Yeah, but I'm hosting this. Yes. And well, I wasn't paying attention either, so it, it it's also. So yes, my fault. I guess you could, I guess you could say it is both our fault. We're sorry. I could make it up to you. I could probably send you flowers or something. Oh, that's that's romantic. That's so sweet. Yes, nothing. Nothing says sorry. I kicked you out of the game like flowers. Uh huh. Well, it seems that uh, Horodar is going, a, or yeah, Horodar is going a little harder on the uh, tech rushing here. Already at tier three. Surprisingly, Excellent. not using the uh, nuclear power plants, but then again, it is like really. I will dangerous. send him a bouquet of kebab. <laughs> It's bouquet. It's it's kebab arranged in the shape and color of flowers, pretty pretty flowers, with some extra carnage. Tulips from Amsterdam. Yes. Yes. Bosnian food. I, I have actually tried uh, Bosnian food because a friend of mine uh, was born in Bosnia. Oh, cool. And uh, what was it like? What, what kind of food was it? Uh, I, actually, it was it, it was a celebration of some sorts. I. Don't celebration even... of Bosnian food. Yeah, no, no, it, it was like a lot of food uh, just throughout the entire day. And oh, right, I, cool. Was it any I th good? I think it was Easter. I think it was Easter. Oh, cool. A couple of years ago. And I think that... Uh... We've got uh, Yunru over here even being the majority of the uh, destroyers here, as the one not getting caught still uh, just has been destroyed. And the hammer turret and the sentry gun are just going uh, after these uh, destroyers here, sinking them. While mm -hmm. Yunu just EMPs them. Already have the centurion out as well. Yes. I see a uh, sentinel too. Soraz already asks, should earthquake machines really attack ships? Well, yes. I guess. Tectonic plates and all that, but yes, I guess it would make more sense if they had tsunamis, but... Mm, this game isn't really up to that kind of uh, logic. It, it, it's It's... Command and Conquer, or Red Alert it's logic. It's, it's Actually, there, there's a, there is a term for that. It's realism. Not realism, but realism. Realism. Yeah, Red Alert, realism. Oh, right, like that. That's it. Red, al red Alert, realism. Right, get it. Get it, got it good. Yeah. I'm seeing some... Uh, some people are asking, uh, how do I follow a unit around on the screen? Very simple. You select a unit and you press F. It's a heart key that you have on the keyboard. Yep, I'm doing the same right now. Thing. Yeah, it's a very simple thing. Uh -huh. So for observers, uh, some of the, uh, the the keys are disabled. So, for instance, you can press the Z key, but nothing ha is happening. Yeah. Because is you the don't... Z, the Z key? The Z, Z. Is like Canadian Z? Or American Z? American Z, yeah, Dragon Ball Z. It's not Dragon Ball Z, Ooh. of course. Buildings infiltrated here. Yeah. Stole uh, Red's cash and got veteran uh, units here. Veteran infantry or tanks? 
I think so. Fetterman tanks. Thanks. And stole some cash. Ooh, and we got a Codosphere. Nice. Ooh. Get rid of that Centurion, man. He impulse. He impulse, but why? There's nothing coming. But then again, it is free, of course, so why not use it to annoy hey, your opponent? Why the hell not? Or, uh, or this is something interesting. You can actually uh, do do that in anticipation of sending a couple of uh, dragonflies. Ooh, yes. I see that uh, Horodar is making a couple of them, so it it would have made sense if he did that. Oh, indeed. Well, Magic Carpet, I'm glad that uh, Yuna is your wife who as long as I get Libra. Uh, isn't this just the internet in its yes. purest form? People arguing about whose wife who's the better is the best. Yes, of course. And I guess that uh, th that same guy is just preparing a, a crown of uh, a prison tank chrono attack. Maybe he's gonna he, he's gonna add uh, Siegfried there as well. Mm -hmm. Hello, Ben Rico. Glad you could join us. Uh, I want to rematch Ben CC. Unfortunately, we won't have enough time for that on this stream. So, no, um, so you're gonna have to, to you're gonna have to you would have to arrange that, that yourself, yourself. Yeah. or wait until next week Wednesday. Uh huh. But she's a psycho, yeah, trust me, that's uh, that's the kind of girl that I like. It's it's canon that she's psycho. But that's the kind of girl that I like, because I'm pretty insane too, I'm pure evil. You know, that's actually quite interesting. I was reading a bit about uh, Toxoplasma gondi, which is a parasite, which uh, generally uses cats as its main host, and... Uh, it's very, it's a very fun, it's a very odd thing, a very interesting thing. Apparently, it infects one third of the entire human population, and generally, it doesn't have a lot of symptoms if your uh, if your immune system is strong enough. But apparently, it does very subtly alter the uh, moods, and uh, it, it very subtly alters the mood uh, of people who are infected with it. Maybe I'm infected. I don't even know. It kind of. That's mo most likely. Get in a room of three people, and one of them will most likely be affected by it. It's very interesting, and absolutely pants-shittingly terrifying. Because apparently, uh, when the parasite infects mice and such, it literally makes them suicidal. Or at least, it makes them easier prey for cats. And for... Uh, there, I think a couple of research studies have shown that it's... Uh, that it does make some people more susceptible to... Uh, to car crashes due to the fact that their uh, risk-taking uh, abilities are reduced a bit. So it's okay. a very scary thing. And I would think that, yeah, I mean, maybe it uh, includes you, itself, uh, which is why we like cats so much. Maybe that's a very scary, that's a very, that could be a very scary reality. Are which you is most likely bullshit, safe? but you know. Are you, are you still feeling safe are you feeling getting safe? in my car? Oh yes, of course. Because I might be in fact, maybe uh, I'm gonna take way too much risk. Uh, yes. We've got a little attack prepared over here. I see one repair. Uh, uh, AMC got two Cavaliers, and the rest is prison tanks. So uh, we're gonna see some uh, something attacking over here relatively soon. Yes, I see it too. My guess soon, which is odd. I would think that he would be a bit more preventive and just take out this giant swath of tanks here in uh, the base here with the Centurion all and just dump it in the ocean. Would probably be quite a bit more effective. Waste a ton of money on that. But there's an iron curtain, but the Chronosphere is ready. Activate it. Oh, there well, we go. Round right the over the there, all the way at the back of the base. Taking out the War Factory in a single go. Bam. Careful, though. But I'm not sure it's going to last long. Veteran, veteran Nua cannons. Both War Factories go, though, so uh, that threat is yeah, limited very good for idea. now. But very fragile tanks, of, those are. There's a very lot of firepower over here. Bam. Scary. That is powerful. A twin threesome, nice. But then again, Libra has clones, so I can basically have an entire harem. A harem? Yes, say. Yeah. Well, why would you have a have a harem if you could just organize a live action harem comedy and then slowly die inside? I'm just I'm just joking. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. But oh. then again, well, that's okay. The, I the have past, that problem for the past all three the time. weeks. Yeah, for the past three I weeks. I have that problem. 
Yeah. I've, I've pretty much you know, lost my mind in such a way that I either literally oh. ran out of commentary or I just didn't know what I was saying anymore. Oh dear. Well, you know, I have that problem all the time when I'm doing commentary. Oh, bridge repaired. Looks like yeah. that's finally happened. I guess that's the same reason why you Centurion cometh! Yes. I'm getting nerfed. Beta division 2. Squishy. That is looking painful. Uh huh. Maybe you should have waited a little longer. Until I the still think that chronoing them out to sea would probably have been the best. Yeah, that would have definitely been better. Especially that, would have that centurion right. with, uh, no with Yunu inside. No matter. No use crying over spilt milk. I would like to think that uh, the waifu that people are speaking of in the Centurion is obviously one of those eradicators. Brave men in suits, man. Gotta admire them. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh dear. Where are we even going with this stream? Well, hopefully towards an end. A bright white light at the tunnel. Beta Revision 2 has been cancelled, and uh, Mental Omega will be discontinued, and this will be the last stream that we'll ever do of it. We will, yes, correct. We will be starting up an anime instead, as we have always dreamed. I thought we were, we're going to make a movie. Oh, were we going to make a movie? Oh dear. Forgive me if I don't have too much faith in that. No, me neither. But I see that, yes, uh, Centurion Pathfinding will hopefully be fixed in Better Revision 2 as well, due to the fact that his that its movement type will be changed. Oh, really? That's nice. So hopefully it will be a little less stupid. I mean, with a huge turret like that, it's got to have some brains about it. But this is uh, cutting in pretty bit. This is uh, quite a big cut into uh, Red's base, so yeah. I don't think it's going to be a lot left after this. No, you should have we could totally little, do it. You should have we could totally animation. do an animated movie about. Uh, we could do an animated movie about uh, the Mental Mega Heroes. Totally friggin' awesome. Now let's let's also bring in the Mental Meisters then. What? Insert ourselves into our own show. Uh, insert you guys in the show, not me. Oh, I'm not a me. Mental I would perish of the thought that I would be in a movie or in a show <laughs> somewhere. That would be terrifying. Uh. <laughs> okay, that's a good question, actually. That's a nice question for your Q and A, Doomy. If you could, uh, what what kind of actor would you have play you, or who would you have play you in the movie about your life? Uh, no one, because I don't want a movie about my life. Well, too bad. Someone's making it. They have the rights to your life story, and they are making it, and they want an actor right now. Who are you going to choose? It's Robin final Williams. Loss. Robin Williams, well, that's a bad fucking choice, mate. Because he's dead. Exactly. And that's why. So that's just not gonna... Or, less, or better yet, Leslie Nielsen. It's actually not a bad idea. Well, Leslie Nielsen has been right. dead for three years, so... Okay, well, would you, only, which actor would you people. rather have, or which actor the one that uh, looks the most like you? <laughs> um, well... Arnold Schwarzenegger! <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger looks the most like you. No, of course not. Makes but, sense. Uh, I, don't I would know. probably be, uh, I would probably have Shia LaBeouf play me, because really? I too I thought, have a uh, very punchable face. I, I thought that you would uh, go with uh, Macaulay Coughlin. Oh yes, goodness, I totally forgot. Macaulay, late, late post Home Alone Macaulay Culkin. Yes, and absolutely. And the match been this. Alright. It is, that is it? Yes. Well, folks, it has been fun, but unfortunately, uh, that's all the time we have for tonight. And as for the voice actors of the new show, well, I'm unfortunately, uh, we are going to have to uh, leave that note uh, for next week. After we have returned triumphantly from Gamescom. Yep. So until then, uh, like I said, there's not going to be a stream on Friday or Sunday for those on my channel. 
Yes, don't worry. We will. Uh, I will make sure that we get plenty of pretty pictures from uh, Gamescom that uh, you will all probably not be able to see. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe I'll share a couple later. Maybe. Who knows? Who knows? Probably of me being drunk. And, show, our uh... ugly, show our ugly. Show our ugly mugs sometime. But anyway, for now, uh, you all have a good weekend. And we, and, will, uh, see we will see you next time. Next week. <laughs>